Hey everybody, my name is Lauren. I am one of the casters for the Chair League. Um, for those who don't know, the Chair League is an amateur league where you can sign up individually as yourself or as a full team and you can join anytime. Um, all skill levels are, are welcome and are represented in the, in the league. It's a lot of fun. There's um, standings and stuff and a whole schedule on Mondays and Thursday nights. Um, I invite you to come out and check it out if you have not yet participated. We had a match scheduled just now for a team called the Tunnel Snakes against the Abusement Park, but it seems like the Abusement Park is not able to field the team. So what I've been able to do is, I think I found a team that would like to scrimmage um, the Tunnel Snakes. So we'll still have a match. I'm just going to um, see if I can put the details together. And okay. Cool, found a team already. So apparently this team is calling themselves the Fred Rogers. <laughs> what? The Fred Rogers fan club, okay. So let me put together a draft for them. Keyboard wants to be a derp tonight. All right. So, okay, looks good. One moment here, guys, just kind of setting this up real quick. And then a link for the Fred Rogers Fan Club. Switch over to the draft. And of course, I thought I thought I found a way to fix this, but apparently I didn't. Apparently I really didn't. There we go. Okay, so the Fred Rogers Fan Club, thank you. Fred, well, Fred Rogers Fan Club and sub, mind you. Thank you guys for filling in on short notice. Um, really appreciate it. <laughs> Hi, guy. What's up, no uh, I don't know, Noitech. I, I probably screwed your name up, I'm sure. but Sue me. <laughs> I'm not good with people's names like that. So, um... Tunnel Snakes were set to be the home team, so they get first pick, first ban. Li Ming is on the table for those in the know, and the current meta Li Ming is super powerful, so I'd be surprised if she made it through the ban phase one way or the other. Tunnel Snakes goes ahead and bans out Kael'thas. He did take a pretty sound beating by the nerf stick earlier this week but still does a lot of damage with his chain bombs, especially on a map like Battlefield of Eternity where there's a lot of claustrophobic spaces. So not the biggest turn of a, you know, the biggest plot twist to see him get banned out before any heroes get selected here. And of course, Li Ming is going to be countered. And wow, Tunnel Snake's going full ham with the Morales pick at the top. Okay. I, I'm I'm pumped up for this. This is cool. When you take Morales early, you are saying I am going for, we're we're going for a comp that you will not ex expect. Um it is a bold choice to take Morales this early, especially first pick. Um 
I wonder how Fred Rogers is going to respond to that. They they seem to be sticking to their guns. They have their own plan in mind, at least for now. Rhaegar and Zagara are two very sound choices, two very well-rounded choices that can go against pretty much any composition. So they don't seem to be too startled by this relatively uncommon turn of events. Um, what the heck? What the what? Sergeant Hammer comes out to play. Wow, are we looking? We are looking at a legit protect the hammer comp so far with ETC and and Fred Rogers. Like, they have to be blown away right now. In the current meta, <laughs> in the current meta, these are like this is like the antithesis of what you do in a draft. So I am really excited to see how this goes. You take Hammer. You take you take Morales first pick first of all. You take Morales first pick, and then you follow that up with Sergeant Hammer and ETC. Like, what do you even ban? What do you ban? Like, okay, Falstad. Falstad's a good hero on this map. Um, can soak, and then fly in for the immortal fights. Really strong hero. Got a recent quasi buff, I would say, um, with the you know the mage build or the the hammering thing. At level seven. But wow. I have to say, I, I'm I'm blown away. I'm blown away. This is a scrimmage. Um, you know, standings aren't on the line here, so you know, there there's something of a more relaxed environment here. But I have every feeling to think that this could have been the championship for chair league and tunnel snakes probably would have gone and they ban our tennis? They ban our tennis. <laughs> I'm, okay, they they have taken the meta, and they've thrown it completely out the window. They 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 just no regard, no regard for the meta. Oh, okay, and Fred Rogers is very much thing. What? What? Okay, okay. I they they have to be doing this like just to see what kind of reaction I get because. They, what? Okay, okay. Like I, I have legitimately been rendered speechless. I don't even know what to say about this comp. Like, okay, okay. So, tunnel snakes, no interest whatsoever in the meta. Okay, like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, when you look at their comp. They've gone solo warrior, and they have a deceptive amount of damage. And what I mean by deceptive is, if you hang out in Gazlo turrets all day, you're going to get eaten alive. If you hang out under Sergeant Hammer's attack range, you're going to get eaten alive. And then you have Raynor, if he positions himself well and is able to just attack with impunity, you're going to get eaten alive. And Fred Rogers, they they don't have any blinds. There are no blinds. There's no reverberation for Meriden. Depending on how Tunnel Snakes position themselves, they could they could take this game. Taronda does kind of work against Morales with the range stun, the hunter's mark. But if Morales is able to stay in a safe spot and just heal, I, I don't even, I, my mind is blown. My mind is legitimately blown. Tunnel Snakes, hands down, most interesting composition I've ever casted for. I've ever been recorded on record responding to as a caster. <laughs> I mean, you guys are brazen. You are out on the fringe. I love it. I love it. I, I'm, I'm excited. We're 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 going to jump into this right now, and I need to change the name of the away team. We're just going to say F R F C. 
Lewis episode. So there. We are in for an interesting progression of events here. Because. Wow. Just, just wow. So, Tunnel Snakes have gone. They've got Rainer being played by the Dabbit. Predax is playing Gazlo. Paul is playing Sergeant Hammer. Diesel Morales. And Zilti is playing ETC. Um, the team that was gracious enough to step in um, and allow this game to happen. Um, the Fred Rogers Fan Club plus the sub. You got Rogue JT playing Diablo. Riley is playing Zagara. Full Metal Jesus is playing Saranda. Which is kind of funny because you think they'd be playing Thrall or Rhaegar. The Green Jesus reference. Sidon Wands playing Rhaegar and Shizumba is being played. Or is playing Thrall. I, I'm... I'm still back here at this comp. I'm still back here at this comp. Because I just... It's not often you see Sergeant Hammer getting played these days, and it's definitely not too often you see Gazlo coming out. Play smart, have fun. This is gonna be a wild game. I can already tell. So we got season marksman, scrap. Like I don't even know what kind of build you go for with Gazlo. So five committed to the bottom lane. There's a slide out, some aggression here. Doesn't really amount to much. No one's in in threat of getting killed here. Devils do. We might have. We might see a Mercablo build here. Um, the range cooldown for Hunter's Mark. Smart choice when you're the secondary support. Probably a W build and Chain Lightning build on the way for Rhaegar and Thrall, respectively. Feedback loops. So some added mana sustain. Ah, got a comment here. Hey, look, positive comment from someone that I casted for on the screen. Cool. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Hoax. I'll reply to you after. So it looks like for now, this game is throwing all conventions out the window with regards to Soak. Or really anything. All five people from Tunnel Snakes are in the top lane pushing down this lane. And they get a kill. They get a kill on Rhaegar. And the dynamite comes down for some zoning purposes. The grenade almost gets to Ronda, And we got three heroes on the side of the fan club with low health. Reeling and probably trying to understand how they're in this position right now. I mean, Zagar is going full ham in the bot lane. So for all the aggression that the Tunnel Snakes were able to provide, Zagara on their own was able to exact, to exact the same amount of damage. But Diablo goes down here. And this is kind of what I was referring to. Where if you try to step into the Tunnel Snake's house and go within the Hammer's range and Gazlo's range, you're going to get eaten alive. Thrall tries to come in. Hunter's Mark goes down to try to add some more damage, but ETC is able to zone them out. And Morales' heal is going to be enough to get Gazlo out of the range of the towers. And they don't even care. They don't care about the Immortal at all right now. This is amazing. What the heck? So, Gazlo hearth back, and they're just still going full ham on this fort. At this rate, they should, they could theoretically get it. Um, Hammer st sticking outside of the range of the tower, so they're not eating a lot of damage. And then, Diablo comes in, gets chewed up, has to step back. They have to be confused. They have to be confused right now, because when you look at this draft, you're like, what the heck are they thinking but right now, they're up in experience. They have a, a small, you know, talent tier lead. The fort is on its last legs. It's probably going to go down. Or no, the minion wave shows up and, and starts poking at them. And they have still, so far, ignored the, the immortals. They're going to go ahead and get this camp. This is crazy. So, the fan club is like, um, if you guys didn't remember, there's there are like these immortal things in the middle of the map that might want or warrant some consideration. So they go ahead and burn down the first half. The Tunnel Snakes does not seem to be too phased or concerned. They might come down here finally, but nope. They go ahead and take out the top fort. And this is a very interesting strategy. If this is something that they've practiced, they're executing it well so far. Um, I don't know how much I agree with letting them burn down the Immortal. 
but it's hard to argue with the results put forward thus far. Um, the fan club is going to come away with a full immortal, full shield, but early game it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, and the tunnel snakes have shown themselves to be more than capable of laying out a ton of damage on a single target, so if they were so inclined they could burn this down with relative ease, but they're only going to leave Gazlo and Sergeant Hammer here, and I think that's a smart call because the fan club is saying, alright, you guys have had this cute, you know, burning down our fort business during the immortal phase, but... If you hang out in one lane all day, we can definitely start to punish that with cigars. So they come down. They stand a good chance at saving their own fort here. And thus far, Zagar and, and the crew are going to have to get pushed back here. Um, Rainer and Morales have been enough on the, of a back line for, Mar for ETC to hang out there and push them back. Even though ETC just took a good amount of damage... Um, D has a full mana bar with which to sustain their team if anything happens. But, uh... Right now, the experience is about even. But, as it stands for the moment, the Tunnel Snakes with their very unorthodox comp are ahead in structures. If only by a little bit. But they're now down in experience. So, at level 7... You got a scrap build for Gaslo. I couldn't even tell you how good that is or isn't because I don't play Gaslo enough or I have not seen him enough to even have much of a comment about the efficiency of that build so we'll just have to see how that goes. Um, they did go with the slow turret, the slow um, on the turret attacks. I think that could come very much pain. Rainer gets kind of caught out with an overpower but ETC slides out for the counter engage and that's going to allow Rainer to get away. Sergeant Hammer poking down Taronda, you got Gazlo hitting the laser on a good amount of people. And right now, there aren't too many answers for the fan club for this kind of siege potential from Gazlo. But ETC gets yanked over the wall, slides out, barely, barely escapes. Holy crap. The cow almost got taken out, but Thrall, there's the counter kill on Thrall. This is crazy. This is crazy. Double battle momentum out of Zagara and Diablo. Triple, no less. With Taronda, Cleanse, and Wind Shear for Thrall. Cleanse, Loudspeakers, got a Power Slide Disruption build out of ETC. First aid for sustain on Sergeant Hammer. And Hamstring Shot instead of uh, Revolution Overdrive. So they're going for the slow on the level 7 talents for uh, Gazlo and Rainer. And. As crazy as this composition looked in the draft, they're making a believer out of me. I mean, what the heck? What is going on right now? I don't even know what to say. Like, this is just... This is crazy. Diablo... Finds himself in an interesting position, tries to engage on ETC and Morales, and he's just going to be a draw there. When you have Morales with that much mana, though, you're going to have to get a lot of sustained burst to kill someone. And they might get their wish on Hammer, and they do. And that leaves Morales exposed. Thrall shows up and lands a couple of shots. Rainer is able to poke down Zagara here, but he might eat it himself. I don't know if his passive has popped or not yet, but Zagara... But Morales comes in, heals him up, so he's going to be okay. And for right now, we're looking at a one-for-one one trade. So the Fred Rogers fan club have shown the ability to be able to burst down a hero through Morales' sustain. Um, Hammer was caught out in an interesting spot. Um, Morales did try to move up to get him, but almost caught it themselves. So that might inspire a little bit more passive play out of the Tunnel Snakes. That was the first time um, Fred Rogers fan club really said, hey, like, uh, you know, we're not just going to sit on our heels the whole time. Like, we, we can we can get you. Leaps across the map for a shadow charge engage. Doesn't land the overpower, though. The counter engage comes out. we got a couple heroes low. And that's ultimates. That's ultimates for the tunnel snakes. The, the mosh pit completely whiffs. Doesn't hit anyone. So that's going to be down for two full minutes. And that has to be information that would embolden the Fred Rogers fan club, at least for the moment, because that's Hyperion. And now that's all, that's all the ultimates out.
That's all the mount. Although we do see the return of Napalm Strike. Napalm Strike. Sergeant Hammer. This is a, this is a wild game. With the tier advantage, they should be able to get this immortal pretty handily. They have a good amount of shields on their own. And they're not content with this. They're not content to leave it, but they might end up paying Diablo just barely gets away with low health. But Rhaegar is going to eat the laser and then some and gets exploded. Holy crap. And Diablo gets caught out. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, you might have just wanted to <laughs> just mount up and leave. They caught you there, buddy. That was a bold place to try to just hang out and hard back or whatever, man. Yikes. Looks like the Mercabo build is going to help him out. He comes back, though, within five seconds. And for right now, this is a tough spot for the Fred Rogers fan club. With all the siege potential that they've shown this whole game, having an immortal with shields on top of that is all the more dangerous a prospect. But curiously enough, they're just going to back away. And when you think that Okay, so they could have, I think they could have easily gotten his keep if they stayed. So, now you're just going for, like, the mind games at this point. Because if you're Fred Rogers fan club, you're like, alright, these guys, this is a game. They might, like, they might have gone in this thinking that this comp was an absolute joke and they were just going to steamroll them or whatever. But it has not gone that way at all. Like, Tunnel Snakes have gotten six kills as opposed to Fred Rogers fan clubs. Plus subs, one. And the Tunnel Snakes have been pretty much in a commanding spot the whole game. So, you know, you start to feel that sense of dread. And you're like, oh, wow, they can push for this. They might even be able to end if they get enough picks. And they just back away. They just back away. Like, what's the next step here? What do you prepare for as the Fred Rogers fan club? Like, what do you look out for? They have to just be completely stymied. Stymied is the word I'm going with because I don't, I, I just don't know. They're huddled up together. They're, they're hugging each other for warmth and understanding of what's happening because the meta is completely out the window in this match. The fort goes down, so to get some momentum that way, that's going to help them almost catch up. They're going to be down a tier for at least a short amount of time. Um, Tunnel Snakes do manage to get 13. See what talents they go for here. Spell Shield out of Medic for some sustain. They are really committed to these slow talents. Giant Killer for Rainer. And Gaslo is as yet undecided. But here's the, here's the surprise. Here's the surprise. So rather than wait for the Immortals, they're going to go ahead and push this down now. And the Morales Grenade is enough to secure the kill. So now that's going to be Catapult. So that's the... Oh! Gaslo combo comes out, catches shit. Oh! Thrall goes down before the ancestral healing hits. And th is that gonna be Diablo? I think that's Diablo. Oh my god! Diablo gets away with like no health. If the Uh oh. Uh oh. Hammer gets yanked over the wall, but Morales is there and in range. She's gonna be okay for now. Cigar comes out, pops a mutalisk on Hammer, and Diablo is playing a very dangerous game here. Thrall is back up, so they've been able to sustain through long enough. The Shadow Charge gets him out of the range of that. The Ancestral Healing came off of his cooldown, was able to secure that. And this might be where this aggression comes back to bite them here. The stun from Gaslow's dynamite allows for an escape for the remaining two but Morales and ETC rip <laughs> I'm blown away I, I am blown away at this game Fred Rogers fan club has found their way back into it with those two kills um, the confidence boost that they needed has come in the form of two kills on ETC and Morales Looking at the talents here, we got Firestorm, Mutilus, Overflowing Light, Earth Shield, Grace of Air, Standard Picks here. There's nothing standard about what the Tunnel Snakes are doing. I don't even know how to comment on <laughs> anything they're doing right now because it is just so far from the norm. The Mosh Pit comes out, lands on three people, 
and the Sundering is not available, so there's no counter, so that's going to be the full duration Apocalypse comes out, but it's not enough to save Rhaegar. Rhaegar goes down, Tyrande goes down, their two supports are gone. Face Melt comes down, slows down, Thrall. Thrall might get away here. Frost Wolf Resilience, no he does not, no he does not. So that is a 3 for nothing trade now off of the nice engage from the mosh pit. I don't know if they just had the, you know, the cooldowns in mind there. But, that was a crazy mosh. Landing on top of the Immortal, that put them right back in the driver's seat here. But ironically enough, Cigar and Diablo were hanging out off on the side and they secure the Immortal for the Fred Rogers fan club. Holy crap. That was a clutch play on their part. Jeez. This is an exciting game. This is what happens when you go outside of the meta. You get just unexpected results. If this game... If what just happened there happened two minutes later... I think the tunnels things could have ended with the cooldown timers. But no, they, they instead... The, they instead opt to put some pressure on the bottom lane and get them ever closer to level 16, which they're on the verge of. Um, you get a you get a lot of experience for taking down the keep towers on the wall. So they do manage to get to 16, and the Fred Rogers fan club are half a level away. The Gaslow combo almost secures a kill on Regar, and he just barely is able to limp away thanks to the help of Taronda. And the Shadow Stalk is going to secure the disengage for level 16. You got Bullseye. Does not pair with a um, double barrel, so there's only be one stun. Inoculation on Morales. Speed metal for ETC. Turret range, long range turrets. The range is increased by 40%. This this is just a wild game. Hammer is thus far undecided. Like I I'm I'm I have to catch my breath. Like this this is a crazy game. Level 16 comes out for the Fred Rogers fan club. You got Rampage, True Shot Aura, so expect to see a good bit more damage out of Rhaegar. Hunger of the Wolf. So we forego the Rising Storm, and Rhaegar wants to jump into the frame. Take a little bit more of a bite out of Crime. Scar is so far undecided, and Hammer almost gets caught and imploded on, but the counter engage from the Mosh Pit. Gets taken out by the Thundering, and that's going to end up being a kill on Sergeant Hammer. Morales is going to heal up Rainer and ETC while trying to make it disengage themselves. Gaslow, somewhere off screen, gets blown up. And some holes are starting to show up in the composition that Tunnel Snakes have gone for. The, uh, the team fighting capability and the engage from Fred Rogers' fan club is starting to come to light here in a pretty big way. Two kills on the two specialists of the team right before the immortal phase. And the map is about painted red in the favor of the Fred Rogers fan club. So this is their ticket back into this game. This next immortal is going to be very important for the course and remainder of this fight here. So Fred Rogers fan club with the numbers advantage is pretty much going to get the first half of this immortal for free. The Hyperion comes out in an interesting time because there's no guarantee that the Immortals are even going to be there. Chances are they're not, and they're not. So that's pretty much just a blown Hyperion without much value or benefit. That's one less thing that the Fred Rogers fan club has to worry about. But the Power Slide comes out, chains in, lands a couple of stuns off of the Immortal. And Sergeant Hammer gets the Stim Drone, graduating range from the looks of it. Devouring Maul comes out. Yep, graduating range. For the counter engage, Sundering secures a kill on Rainer and Gaslow. Apocalypse comes off. Sergeant Hammer eats it. And we got ETC and Morales deciding, hey guys, like, alright, um, thanks. Appreciate everything. We're just going back away, give you this immortal. And uh Summer Snakes are on the ropes. It seems like the Fred Rogers fan club have hit a stride here in terms of chaining together their ultimates, finding situations to land solid counter engages. And uh, the novelty aspect of Tunnel Snakes' composition is starting to wear a little thin. You got a full shield immortal here at, at level 18, 18 minutes into the match. So this, this bad boy is going to do a little bit of damage. They're probably looking at a loss of this key. 
If they, if uh, Fred Rogers fan club pushes on this pretty hard, they should be able to get this keep. Um, provided no one gets called out of position, that should be the extent of what they get. But you got Gazlo stepping out front here, trying to put these turrets down. BTC's protecting the rest of his team. Rawls eating a ton of damage. He's going to have to back out and get healed up by his support. Shield comes down. Fort's going to drop. And it doesn't look like the Fred Rogers fan club wants to jump in any further. Or do they? Or do they? The Apocalypse comes out. Lands a stun on three people for the engaged. The Devouring Maul gobbles up Rainer at least. Sergeant Hammer is hanging out. Mosh Pit! Mosh Pit hits four people. Diablo walks in to make it four. Wow! Oh! Zagar goes down, and this is the Wombo that Tunnel Snakes were looking for. Gazlo's pretty low, but Diablo goes down. This is a three for one trade so far, and the entire team wipes. The entire team wipes. Oh my god. Diablo. Diablo was on the outside of that mosh pit and then stepped in, put his pinky toe right on the edge of the circle, and gets caught in the stun to secure the Wombo. And they only, they only lost one person, they only lost ETC. And it's, and Diablo's entirely by himself right now. No support. 25 seconds before Zagar comes up. And he's going to get eaten alive. He's going to get chewed up. Um, the stem drone is down for another 45 seconds. So he doesn't have to worry about that. But this could very well be game. You put some turrets down. The turrets are getting eaten up by the, by the core pretty quickly. But how much disruption can Diablo really do in this situation? He doesn't have Apocalypse. He's getting pretty low himself. I don't think he has enough souls to come back if he dies here, but now the people are starting to come up. Uh, Sundering is up. Ancestral Healing is up. This is going to be very close. Hammer goes down. There's only ha Oh! Did they just throw? With 25% left on the core, I think they just... Holy crap. Holy crap. This is this is the most exciting game I've, I've casted by far. Gutsy plays. And now on the other side of this, there's 87% corner left on the core. A full shield. Shadow stalk in. And there's only ETC here. This is probably game. Yep. ETC can land the most impressive mosh pit of his life right now. And I don't think it's going to be enough. There's two spread out. Wow. GG and well played. Red team is victorious. Holy crap. What? <laughs> like what? <laughs> what? <laughs> My mind is blown. My mind is blown. Did you see how close that game was? Wow. Wow. You know, looking at that draft, I don't know what anyone could have expected out of that game. First pick Morales, and then you go into ETC, Sergeant Hammer, Rainer, and Gaslo? Gaslo? They, I mean... They did way better than I would have ever thought with that comp. They could have won it. They could have won it. They really could have. And uh, you, you have to be impressed. You have to be a little bit impressed with what they were able to accomplish, especially early game against a team that has Taronda and Diablo. Like, what? What? How did they, that they managed to not get engaged upon with the Taronda Diablo combo is a miracle in and of itself. And they were able to sustain these, they were able to drag these fights out long enough for Gazlo's turrets and, and Hammer to just poke these people to death. Like, did you see, like, hold on, let me, let's go back. I'm going to go back to the match. And, and look at the, the stats here. Because I'm super curious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got a... Like, let's 
so I set all these to record so let's let's look at some of the numbers here because I didn't so sergeant hammer I'm not surprised to see this sergeant hammer was able to hang out on the back and just like I said in the draft eat people alive like Diablo had to be confused he would dive in there and before he realized what was happening he had half his health gone and it's not like the, you even saw big graphics like it wasn't like you saw a blizzard drop down or something like that like you just had the turrets plinking at him and sergeant hammer plinking at him and ran like their single target damage was just off the charts the cape like the possibilities and gaslo wasn't a slouch by any means he kept up with with rainer he kept up with rainer soaked up no shortage of experience that was a crazy game, man. And I think... I think what happened for Fred Rogers fan club is... While their comp was geared towards early ganks... With, um... You know, Toronto, Diablo, and Thrall, obviously. It really took them getting to the late game... And, uh... Getting a, a lot of these talents that allowed them to start winning these fights. Like, Firestorm... That's a lot of damage. I don't think it gets the recognition that it deserves. You got Shadow Stalk as well as Overflowing Light out of Tyrande. Um, You need though that kind of sustain out of your secondary support if you're going double support against a comp like this. I think it was really smart to go with Ancestral Healing. I get that Bloodlust is an attractive idea here when you have Thrall on your team. But they identified early on when they lost their first fort <laughs> that uh, this comp can do to, can do damage. So we're going to need to add its support out of that. Earth Shield helped as well. Um, they didn't go for the full W build. I think that might have helped with sustain a little more. But um, it's hard to argue the value of Feral Heart. Um, cleanse is really strong for the uh the power slide from etc that's and and the dynamite charge from gaslo so you know strong arguments there for these talents i don't think there was any mis missteps here um hunger of the wolf i like this town a lot um you don't see oh brian you did get some 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 sick malls sorry i i didn't i'm not trying to you know discount that by any means um you played a very strong Zagara. Um, it's just there was so much going on in these team fights. Like, it, it, it genuinely was hard to keep up with everything that was going on. It was very exciting to watch. Um, I think the Maws definitely set up and secured a lot of those late game team fights. Uh, like I was saying with the talents, once uh, Fred, Fred Rogers fan club and sub was able to start securing more of the talents to, to keep them up in fights and, and really account for the uh the very deceptive burst that the tunnel snakes had they were able, they were really able to start capitalizing on the the upside of the of their kit the actual kit um that their heroes had and then the team fights really started to look strong in their favor um ETC did a what I feel to be a fantastic job. When you look at some of the counters to Mosh Pit that Fred Rogers had, he was able to execute some very strong Mosh Pits um, in the face of absolute danger because <laughs> it got countered a couple of times, but there was that one full duration um, Mosh Pit off of the Immortal that was just... I was impressed. Um... Tunnel Snakes is a team to watch. I I'm very excited to see them in future games. I'm glad that we were that uh, Fred Rogers um, fan club plus sub was able to come in and play and and give Tunnel Snakes a chance to be seen because if, if this is what we can expect out of them and and they're just throwing they don't care about the meta whatsoever <laughs> when you first pick Morales. And then 
you follow that up somewhere down the line with Sergeant Hammer and Gaslo. You you just you don't care about the meta. You don't care about anything. You don't care what any like very very fun to watch. And they pulled it off. I mean, they they didn't come away with the win in this case, but they got the core down at 25%. Like they looked very commanding in the early game against Taronda and Diablo, like the premier gank warrior and consummate like early gank strategy just it didn't hold up against the damage potential that this very weird comp had very cool stuff um it was a true pleasure to cast this um thanks to both teams for playing i'm glad it all came together very fun to watch um again this this is chair league and amateur league um, any skill level, everyone's welcome to sign up individually or as a team. My name is Haloran. I cast some of these chair league matches and, and play. Um, I have a team myself. Shift Elite represent. Uh, if you like the casting, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please, please hit the follow button if you were so inclined. Um, I like to cast these games. I like to do it every Thursday. So, I got the opportunity to cast the rematches tonight. It's the most I've done in one night, and I had a lot of fun doing it. I look forward to doing it again, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this game. And, and if you stuck around for the other games, those games, as much as I enjoyed casting them and, and seeing these teams pull off this, this crazy stuff, like, hey, <laughs> Gaslo and Sergeant Hammer, like, it was crazy. <laughs> But uh, that's going to be it for me for tonight. There, I think there is still a good amount of chair league action on other streams. Um, please check that out. I think this is a great thing for the community overall. So anything I can do to help that along is just great. So thanks, guys, for playing and, and checking out. And I'm going to call it a night there. Thanks for, thanks for watching. All right. See you.